a controversial answer on stage, a scandalous drug bust, an unsanctioned private glam squad? Grab your tiaras and the popcorn. We're getting into some of the ugliest moments from our favorite beauty pageants. In 2007, Miss Teen USA contestant Caitlin Upton became a viral sensation when she was asked why Americans couldn't find the U.S. on a map. Her answer was, to put it simply, a tangled mess. Some people out there in our nation don't have maps. Upton instantly became a target for bullying and confessed that she contemplated taking her own life, sharing that she went through a period where she found herself very depressed. Since then, Upton appeared on The Amazing Race and has made several other television appearances. Alice Sabatini was crowned Miss Italy in 2015, but she raised a few eyebrows when she was asked by judges which era she would most like to live in, and answered that she'd like to live in the year 1942, which, to put it mildly, was a tumultuous year in Italy. According to the Italian insider, Sabatini's reasoning for the year 1942 was so that she could witness World War II for herself, and that she would witness it from home, since women weren't part of the military. Her answer didn't sit well with people or the the Italian tabloids. Sabatini explained her answer further, adding that she wanted to experience life in her great-grandmother's shoes, saying, I would have liked to live through what she had gone through in those years, for better and for worse. During the 2013 Miss USA pageant, contestant Marissa Powell, who represented the state of Utah, stumbled on a question about pay equality in the United States. Powell was asked about income inequality between men and women, and her answer unfortunately made very little to no sense, as she replied, I think we can relate this back to education and how we are continuing to try to strive to figure out how to create jobs right now. She then ended her statement with something about the need to, quote, create education better. Powell placed third runner-up, even after that awkward response. The contestant appeared on the Today Show when host Matt Lauer read her the same question. This time, Powell managed to give a meaningful response. It's hard enough already to earn a living, and it shouldn't be harder just because you're a woman. During the 2015 Miss Universe pageant, host Steve Harvey named the runner-up Miss Columbia, Ariadna Gutierrez, as the winner when the crown was supposed to go to Pia Alonzo Wurzbach of the Philippines. After being notified of his error, Harvey appeared next to Miss Columbia to announce the correct winner. I can show it to you right here. The first runner-up is Columbia. It is my mistake. Still a great night. Looking back on that moment, Harvey spoke on the comedy Gold Mines with Kevin Hart podcast in 2021 and shared that the aftermath was the worst week of his life. However, Harvey was given the hosting gig the very next year and continued to host the show until 2019, returning in 2021 and accidentally referring to Miss Paraguay as Miss Portugal. In 2008, Laura Zuniga, who hails from Sinaloa, Mexico, was crowned winner of Miss Hispanic America, but according to Reuters, was soon a smuggling gang suspect after her supposed boyfriend was believed to be associated with the Juarez cartel. It was reported that Zuniga and several men were detained after police located guns and thousands of dollars in cash inside their luxury cars. According to Time, Zuniga was arrested on charges ranging from drug trafficking to money laundering and was taken to jail for 40 days while an investigation took place. Before winning Miss Hispanic America, Zuniga was crowned winner in the pageant Nuestra Belleza Mexico, which later cut ties with her. According to Refinery29, Zuniga's wins also meant that she would be competing in Miss International and Miss Universe, but all that quickly came crashing down. Zuniga was released, and in 2011, a movie titled Miss Bahla was loosely based on the former beauty queen scandal. In 2014, Nia Sanchez represented Nevada in the 2014 Miss USA pageant, and after her victory, the pageant queen made several appearances. While on The Todd Show, she was asked to name the capital of Nevada, and she couldn't. The host informed her that Carson City was the correct answer, and she awkwardly replied, Thank you. I was gonna say that. I was like, that one DJ host on MTV back in the day? His name. That's how I always remembered it. Carson Daly. That guy. A source told Fox News that Sanchez had un successfully competed to become Miss California and had set up a paper trail so that it looked like she was from the sagebrush state. The Miss USA winner clarified to Fox 411 that she had indeed been a resident of the state and had passed the requirements to compete. 
After Tara Connor became Miss USA in 2006, she was quickly thrust into the spotlight for all the wrong reasons. The beauty queen was reported to have had an addiction to drugs and alcohol, and eight months into her reign, tested positive for cocaine. Connor's admissions were featured on an A&D special titled Fame and Recovery, where she shared that she had started drinking alcohol and abusing drugs when she was just 14 years old. She later stated that she abused drugs while participating in pageants and was on pain pills while while competing for Miss USA. After she tested positive for cocaine, the then co-owner of the Miss USA organization, former President Donald Trump, held a press conference stating that Connor was given another chance and added that her experiences could help others with addiction. Connor went to rehab and 10 years later thanked Trump in an article for USA Today saying, I will always be profoundly grateful. He saved my life. I have become a vocal advocate for recovery, and today I speak out for the millions who do not have a voice. Unfortunately for Donald Trump, his second appearance on this list isn't as heartwarming as his first. Venezuelan native Alicia Machado took home the title of Miss Universe in 1996, but in an interview with Inside Edition in 2016, Machado spoke about the verbal abuse she suffered at the hands of then-owner Donald Trump. She weighed 118 pounds or 117 pounds, and she went up to 160 or 70. So this is somebody that likes to eat. He also allegedly called her names, including Miss Piggy and Miss Housekeeping, when she gained weight after her win. Inside Edition reported that Trump took Machado to a private gym that was packed with media. In an interview with the New York Times, the pageant winner said, After the episode, I was sick, anorexia and bulimia, for five years. Over the past 20 years, I've gone to a lot of psychologists to combat this. Despite it all, Machado went on to star in several telenovelas and became the first Miss Universe to pose for Playboy. She shared with Women's Health that posing for the magazine helped her heal, adding that she also signed and mailed a copy to Trump in an act of defiance. Tensions between Lebanon and Israel found their way to the 2014 Miss Universe pageant when a selfie taken by Miss Israel featuring Miss Lebanon caused an uproar with the Lebanese government. According to the New York Post, Miss Lebanon, Sahli Jrej, was threatened with disqualification by her home country when Doron Madelon of Israel shared a selfie that showed the two women and others smiling side by side. The Los Angeles Times noted that with conflict and discord between the two nations, Jrej admitted that she had tried to distance herself from Miss Israel, but Madelon was intent on wanting a photo together. The New York Post also shared that Miss Lebanon's agent believed Madelon was trying to sabotage Drej by taking the photo. Madelon later shared a news article about the photo to her Instagram, where she wrote, Too bad you cannot put the hostility out of the game. Only for three weeks of an experience of a lifetime that we can meet girls from around the world and also from the neighboring country. Early in her career, Vanessa Williams competed in the 1983 Miss America pageant and won the crown, becoming the first black woman to do so. However, as the New York Times reported, when her year as Miss America was almost up, Williams was forced to forfeit her title and the coveted crown because Penthouse magazine had decided to publish nude photos of her. According to CNN, 32 years after the scandal, the Miss America organization apologized to Williams during the 2016 Miss America pageant, where the actor was a judge, with CEO Sam Haskell saying, I want to apologize for anything that was said or done that made you feel any less than the Miss America you are and the Miss America you always will be. Williams told Page Six in 2021 that although it might have shined a negative light on the beauty queen back then, it didn't stop her from pursuing her dreams. At the 2016 Miss Teen USA pageant, Texas native Carly Hay took home the crown. But in a matter of hours, ABC News reported that several disturbing tweets resurfaced from Hay's past which showed the winner using the N-word, curse words, and threatening language. Surprisingly, Hay did not have to give up her crown, but she did apologize during an interview with Good Morning America. It's embarrassing. It's something I'm ashamed of. and. I've grown up from that 15-year-old girl who used that type of language. Miss Teen USA's parent company, the Miss Universe organization, defended Hay, but 2010 winner Cami Crawford told Good Morning America that Hay did not deserve her crown, saying, If the decision was in my hands, absolutely she would have to be dethroned, not necessarily because of what she said, but the avenue in which she decided to say it. 
During the 2009 Miss USA pageant, Carrie Prejean of California was asked by openly gay judge Perez Hilton about the legalization of same-sex marriage, which was outlawed in several states at the time. According to the BBC, Prejean's answer shocked Hilton, who stated, I believe that a marriage should be between a man and a woman. While it stunned many people, Prejean defended her answer and was ultimately first runner-up in the competition, but she would eventually lose her Miss California crown for other reasons. According to Reuters, former owner of the Miss USA pageant Donald Trump stood by Prejean for her shocking Q&A response. However, when it came to Prejean not fulfilling her duties as Miss California, Trump didn't stand by her. The pageant's executive director Keith Lewis stated, This was a decision based solely on contract violations, including Miss Prejean's unwillingness to make appearances on behalf of the Miss California USA organization. Prejean told Sean Hannity that she believed she was dethroned as a result of her answer. According to the New York Post in 2008, Lindsay Evans, a former Miss Teen USA contestant and a group of friends, decided to skip out on their $46 bill at a cafe in Louisiana. But the blonde beauty forgot one thing, her purse. After looking through her bag, police located her driver's license and marijuana and were able to arrest Evans. Today reported that her actions and her drug possession cost her the crown. According to TMZ, Evans only had 10 more days left as the reigning Miss Louisiana, but her actions were just too scandalous for the organization to allow her to keep her crown. Miss USA 2018 contestant Hinesis Davila of Florida was dethroned for using professional hair and makeup stylists for the competition, which was prohibited. TMZ obtained the incriminating photo of Davila getting her makeup done by a glam team, but despite Davila insisting that it was an old photo, she was told to give up her crown a mere six days into being Miss Florida. Instead of just walking away, she took action and sued the pageant seeking damages for defamation. However, the pageant's executive director, Grant Gravitt, shared that it was Davila's social media accounts that gave her up. Despite being dethroned, she would become Miss Florida again the very next year. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite beauty pageant scandals are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.